welcome back to Dad's Kitchen. Today's recipe is an exciting and unique one. It's partly made up by my mom and this is called Bia Palau. And you're probably wondering what Bia Palau is, but essentially it's lamb mince palau with beer thrown in. So here we have all the ingredients. Um, so firstly, I'm going to take one kilo of lamb mince and marinate it with some ginger garlic paste. That's two tablespoons of ginger garlic. Put some salt and just give it a good mix and let it stand. So while the meat is marinating, I'm gonna just get the onions going. So I've got three large onions which are chopped up roughly. It doesn't need to be of any size as such. Putting around three tablespoons of oil I'm going to put the dry spices first. So I'm going to put some curry leaves, cinnamon, star anise, green chilies, cumin and cardamom. So that goes in first. Oil is hot first and then put in the curry leaves and cardamom. It doesn't need to be in any particular order. So once your dry spices start sputtering, you can put in your onions and I've got like three onions. and they really need to caramelize and become brown. I'm just gonna roughly chop four potatoes. A quick way to speed up the process of onions browning is to just put sugar. Um, here I'm choosing to put some jaggery sugar. And just put normal sugar as well, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put the potatoes in with the onions so they fry a bit and I'm going to remove them because we need to put the mince after that and the mince releases water so I don't want the potatoes to get soggy. Make sure they're all soaked with the oil that's with the onion. Okay, so I'm just removing the potatoes to one side. Don't worry about the onions, they'll go back in anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Dish, just make sure you cook it in a heavy bottomed pan, saucepan, with a really, really good lid, uh, because we need it in the end. In goes the lamb mince. I'm just going to brown it first. And this is on very, very high heat. Once all your lamb mince is coated with the onion, I'm gonna put all the masalas. So you have the Parsi sambar, turmeric, chili powder, um, coriander and cumin powder, and garam masala. All of that will go in. Give it a good mix. Adding one more teaspoon of salt. I've just tried it and it just needed a bit. Look at the way the mince has changed color. And I just want to stress on the fact that I do wash my lamb mince because I just find it easier when you're cooking. It's not too lumpy and it kind of breaks down really fast. I know some people don't wash their lamb mince. It's totally up to you. Roughly chopping lamb tomato. The juices from the lamb have completely dried up, the tomato has become mush and now I just go with what I feel like. So I'm going to put a bit of ketchup, not a lot, just for a little bit of sweetness and tomato -y flavor. I'm also going to put Worcester sauce, feel free to put a little bit of vinegar if you like, but I prefer Worcester sauce. Tiny bit of tamarind piece of jaggery and it's totally now changing color and we want it like that like sweet and sour and a little bit sticky so I have tasted this and I need to put a little bit more jaggery so I've put probably two big chunks two inch pieces of jaggery in got the potatoes let it cook with the juices 
toppings na. So you don't need to put water at any point. Let the potatoes cook with the minced juices and once you put your beer, it will cook further with the beer. I'm keeping one whole cup of frozen peas. Or you can use fresh peas. I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice and this is the juice of one whole lemon. I'm refraining from putting any coriander leaves because they just get black whilst the palau is cooking. But instead I just have the stalks and I don't waste anything so I'm just going to roughly chop the stalky bit to give the coriander flavour. And go the stalks. Exactly how your mince should look in the saucepan. I flattened it out and I have four cups of cooked rice now this is a great dish to make if you've got lots of rice left over but you don't want to make another curry you just make your mince you bunk in your rice you put your beer and you salt it so let's layer it now the rice is on top of the mince and I have reduced the flame to the lowest possible heat now. I'm going to use one and a half cans only because I just had the small can. If you have the larger size just go for one. That's more than enough. Make sure your beer is room temperature and it's not chilled. Just spread it around evenly. Try and cover up as much of the rice with the beer as you can. I'm just gonna put a bit of fried onion. And I'm not keeping a lot because this will get a bit soggy. I will keep it more towards the end for a garnish. Put it in your lid. Let's just raise the heat a bit to get things going. And two minutes later, I'm going to reduce the heat and let it cook for a good 20 minutes at least for the rice to soak the beer up completely. One of the things that complement the beer palau really well is right up. So I'm going to just pour one tub full of Greek yogurt and I've selected Greek yogurt because it tends not to be sour and it's lovely thick and creamy. But go with the yogurt that suits your taste buds the best. I've added around one fourth cup of water just to kind of make it a little bit more flowing. I'm going to add a pinch of salt, some turmeric and some cumin powder. Give that a stir. Finely chop an onion. Um, you don't need the skin of the cucumber so I'm just kind of peeling the green skin. Just finely dice your cucumber. Just chop a little bit of mint. This is a lot of coriander for the right too, but I'm also chopping it for the garnish for the beer pilau when it's ready. So try and cut it as small as possible. Let's keep a good healthy bunch. Give your writer a good mix. Ready now. I've done the garnish, which is your fried onion, coriander, and I'm also going to just finely chop a big fat red chili. Whenever you have something shut with a lid and you see the steam coming out, that means your food's ready. So I'm just going to switch it off and leave this to stand at least for half an hour to let all the juices soak up in the rice. Okay, so it's been half an hour and we've allowed the food to stand. Come and have a look at how lovely this looks. So. If I just move the rice aside, you can see all the mince that has kind of set into the rice with the beer. Once again, not a fancy chef, so wish me good luck. Lamb mince beer palau with raita. I just love.
lovely and on a cold day like this this is just a perfect food you want to eat just like to take this opportunity to thank you for all the positive comments that you have posted on my page it's really encouraging to see all those coming please keep telling me how it goes once you try the dishes and if you need any of the spices the masalas drop me a line I'll be happy to help and this should be one of the last vlogs because I'm traveling next week and I won't see you for at least three weeks so bye